Hi guys, it is November 7th. That's the only thing my phone is good for, it's telling me the date. Um, it is Friday, and it has been a while since we have done a little chat, so I thought we would do a little chat today. Um, you guys know I've been posting a lot. Oh, first, hello, everybody, and thank you for the notes and um, telling me you miss me or miss my chats or miss the videos where I talk to you. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all your kind comments and everything. So just thank you to everyone who's commented or emailed or messaged or something. Um, everything's fine. I've just been, well, everything's fine, but it's not fine. How about that? <laughs> um, I've been very busy with my gut art class and I have been posting the videos for that more for the people in my gut art class to view than for just regular YouTube viewers. Although, I hope you have enjoyed them too. And it's also a way to help me learn and see the process that I use to create whatever I'm creating um, to help me grow. And um, I think some of you have liked them and some of you maybe haven't. But, you know, it's one of those things where I'm not straight lined into one type of thing. I'm all over the place. And that's what I like. I like to be all over the place. Um, I do tend to narrow down into specific things sometimes that I enjoy the most. But I do like to ex expand and broaden and learn and grow and try other things. So hopefully as I do that, y'all will um, enjoy the little journey with me and enjoy just coming along for the ride. And you'll stay with me during that. And then when that's over, when classes are over or whatever, I get back to my normal way of doing videos which is chatting and stuff like that. I really enjoy the videos where I talk to you guys um, so I do miss them too. I miss you guys too so it's not like I don't want to do them anymore it's just that I have a hard time talking while I'm creating a class piece um, and getting it done and getting to the next project because when I talk it takes a lot longer so if I don't talk I just get the work done and then I can say hello to you at the end of the video so Anyway, thank you for those who've stuck with me through those videos and who've commented and enjoyed those videos. And, and if you don't like those videos and you're wanting the other ones back, then don't worry, they'll be back too. They will be coming. So, um, so I just want to say thank you and hello to everybody. As far as everything being okay and not okay, it is okay. Everything is okay. Um, but you guys know that three months ago my father passed away. And... For me, it's been a grieving process of ups and downs. And last time I had to grieve for someone special, it was my mother. And that was nine years ago. And I had a harder time with that as far as the grieving process. Uh, I didn't turn to art or anything like that. So it was rather difficult. And the relationship was different with mom and dad. Of course, you know, I'm, most of you probably know that. There's one parent you maybe are closer to than the other. Um, but... Regardless of that, I was close to my dad. I loved my dad. And the grieving for him is a is a more, there's a loss feeling like there's a puzzle piece missing. And I keep trying to rework the puzzle. And every which way I work it, I can't get the piece to fit. And there's a sense of sadness that just goes with that. And I've been trying to work through that. And so it's been harder for me to express myself verbally and happily as much as I was before because I'm I'm dealing with this and it's only been three months now and when I first started back into my art when I first got home from his memorial I found it easier than I'm finding it now so it's kind of like this and you know I'm okay I'm fine but I am grieving and so I hope that you will understand that as you watch my videos and you see maybe the different turns they take or you see that I'm not as chatty in some or I am in others and just, just bear with me. There's a lot of new, new um, subscribers that don't know that I lost my dad. So you don't know what my usual videos have been like. So to you it may be normal to see videos where I'm just speeding forward and I'm not talking to you guys. But I, I like to talk to you guys. So anyway, the whole the whole point of me telling you this is that if <sighs> there is a grieving process that I need to go through and 
I am sharing my art and sharing myself through videos through this process. So it might be that you see a little bit of a, of a change now and then. I don't know. So um, I just wanted to let you know that that's one of the reasons why I don't do as much chat video lately on camera. I just have not, have not felt like being on camera. <laughs> I've been trying to deal with everything I'm dealing with. Plus, you know, life happens, stuff in life, and there's been some doozies going on lately that, you know, you deal with, but everybody has those, so that's not a big issue, not a big problem. You handle it, you go on. But in the meantime, I've been doing art regardless, and um, the gut art class is what I'm doing right now, and we have, I'm in the third week, we have five weeks, I'm a week behind in my work. Actually, I haven't done this week's work, let's put it that way. Monday and Wednesday, I haven't done Monday and Wednesday. And some of you have not really understood what gut art is about. Um, and I don't know if I can describe it as well as Mistel can descri describe it, but it's a class that she puts on every year, and I've taken it every year except one, I think. And that was only because I had uh, something going on that I couldn't take the class, otherwise I would have taken it. Um, you pretty much are on your own. You're not led by a teacher as far as do this and do what I'm doing kind of thing. Like you take a class, how to draw faces, they draw faces, you do what they do and you learn that way. Well, this is not how you learn. For this class, you basically are given exposure to different artists, different styles, different backgrounds, um, histories. Some artists are schooled, some are not. Um, some are primitive, some are Victorian, some are whimsical. There's all kinds of artists that we're exposed to. And when we see the artists, we're not supposed to go, although you can, you can learn this way. You're not supposed to go and just copy what they're doing and, and try to duplicate what they've done on a painting. Although sometimes it's fun to do that, and I have done that. Um, what we're basically supposed to learn is our, our own authentic voice in art. Um, for example, I've learned that, and she calls them core elements, and she calls it a toolbox where you put your tools, which is what you love to create with in art, and whether that be a physical tool or a, a something mental that you like to think about or do. But anyway, um, I'll give you a couple examples of my tools. I love scratch marks, so I will take an implement, and this isn't one of them, it's just I can't reach them right now, uh, and scratch on the painting. Um, I've learned that I love that. I learned that I love black uh, stripes incorporated into a painting. I don't do a lot of that, but I do love it, and I will be doing more of it as I go along. I love uh, circles. I love scallops. I love white space, which I didn't used to do. I used to leave put, put paint on the whole page, but I love white space. Um, I love... Uh, stamping on your art, that kind of thing. So those are like tools that you use. So when you're viewing the artists that she exposed you to, you evaluate their work and you look at their work and I would see like an artist she exposed us to may be an artist that does a lot of work with um, paper. And so I love to work with paper in my art too. Um, so I may go look at their art and I see paper, but then I see how they use the paper, they how they tear it or how they place it or um, I may see that another artist uh, does a lot of abstract and only uses three colors and that kind of thing. So I'm looking at that and I'm deciding, deciding I love what that looks like. So I want to take that piece of what they're doing and pull it out and I want to apply it to what I'm doing. That's the best way I know how to describe it. Um, what you've seen me do so far... The big, big canvas was a big stretch for me. I've never done a canvas that big. So that was um, my very first one, and it was a challenge. Um, the coffee canvas you saw me do was on bo uh, on a board, a plywood. I love working on wood. I've discovered that just recently. I love working on heavy wood. It's easier for the paint to flow. I can put my scratch marks in there. I just like the feel. It has a more rustic feel. I just like it. Um, that was a little bit of a stretch, but it was more fun, and I was more relaxed, and I really enjoyed it. So, I'm learning. So, the, the class is well worth it. Um, and if you don't want to take the class with everybody else, the, she does offer 
um, like self-guided cl classes where she's not involved with, like she comes in and she talks about your work or she'll comment on your, your post. Um, she also does her work on video so you can see how she does it. And what she does is amazing. You would never imagine that she could get from what she's looking at, what she comes up with. It's amazing. Um, so there's interaction and she's available for questions and th things like that. Well, if you take the self-guided course, I think that you can purchase the access to the videos and things like that, but you can't really go along with a class. So that's about as well as I can describe gut art to you. Um, look it up online. Uh, you can go to communitythrive.com and you maybe could read about it there a little bit uh, before you join. You have to join the Ning site to be able to have access to all this. It's free. Um, the gut art class is not free, but the Ning site is free. Um, but if you do a, a search for gut art, um, I think she has a Vimeo um, video where she talks about gut art. And if I can remember, I'll put the link to that below in the description so that you can go to it and watch it. So it helps explain gut art a little bit more. Okay, so that's about as good a job as I can do on that one. <laughs> um, the other thing I want to talk to you about was um, I received in the mail a long time ago. Um, I was on, I'm a member of Tim Coffey's blog, and I don't know if you know who Tim Coffey is or not, but he is an artist a designer. He designs fabric, paper, embellishments for companies. I think KC and KC Company. K, I don't know. I want to call it the KC band or something. K, KC Company. I think he, he designs for KC Company. KC and Company. Um, and maybe other companies. I, I'm not sure who he designs for exactly. I just know that um, I really like his sketching and his drawing and his paintings and stuff like that. And so he had a little contest on his blog where um, you commented on a sketch, a drawing, or whatever, and and he drew a name, um, and you could pick the sketch of your choice, and he would turn it into a canvas. And I won, and um, the canvas was going to be created from a like a cereal box or a a cracker box, crackers or something like that. And he is a busy man, so he got busy and tied up with things and he wasn't able to create it at the time. So a little bit of time went by and he contacted me and said he was done with my piece and so he sent it to me, which I was really happy about. He sent a little note, which, thank you Tim, if you're watching this, I know you're subscribed to the channel, but I don't know if you're watching the videos, but if you are, thank you. I love it, and I love the little book you sent, so I really appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> she, he sent me a little journal. One of, if this is his design. Let's see. Turn it around this way. You can see it better. Um, he, this is for Lang. If you've heard of Lang calendars and stuff, this is his design, and he, I guess, did it for Lang Company. Or they bought it. I don't know how that works. And the design I picked was a bird cage that says we need both. Let's see. How's it? Go? Let me hold on a second. Freedom. Okay. This side says freedom. This side says shelter. And it says we need both to survive. And he signed his name at the bottom. So, and it's a bird cage that I really love. So, first of all, this is the the frame he created, the canvas. It's out of a box. Okay, and then he, I can see it, um, <clears throat> sketched out his uh, bird cage design, and then he colored it in for me. And I love it. I'm gonna hang it in my art room. I don't know where, because I have such little wall space. Because there's so much in here, I need a whole new way of putting things on the wall but it's got texture to it it's like modeling paste or something i love the blue and the green colors and it's just it's a really pretty sketch the little bird look at the little bird in the corner up here it's just really sweet so i really love it so thank you tim uh, i went to a um the Bell Buckle Art Show, Arts and Crafts Show, and it's like three counties, I think, that get together, and they have this huge show every year in Bell Buckle, and Bell Buckle is a little quaint town that has a railroad running through it and a little strip of um, 
stores and just a little tiny town. You could drive in and out within, I don't know, a couple minutes. Um, but they have some antique malls there and an old-fashioned ice cream store, like shop. And um, it's a really cute place to go. But they have this big, big show. And they take, like, um, there's the main road. And then there's another main road like this. Then the railroad runs here. So the, all these roads, these two roads here are full of vendors. And then there's a main road this way that's packed full of vendors. And a main road this way that's not packed, but it's got vendors. Because down toward the end, it's not as packed. But then there's another road back here that's packed full of vendors. And then there's the side little entries all up and down between these two roads full of vendors. It is, and this year was so, so busy. I took a few little short clips of um, the people walking around and tried to get like a circular shot and I will insert those after I talk about this right here in this part of the video. I'll try to insert that little video to show you what it's like. And um, I didn't look around as much this year as I do in uh, other years, as I did in other years because I just was there for the ambiance this year more than shopping or anything. So um, I did buy a dress form and it's a wire dress form. It's about, I don't know, so tall and it hangs on the wall and it has little hooks on it. So I've got to hang that up. But I usually buy a dress form every year from the same place, the same people. They're there every year and they always have a dress form. So I have about one, two, three, four, five, four or five of their dress forms. I love them. They're all different and they're made of heavy wire. So, um, I did that. That was fun and I enjoyed it. So I'll, I'll insert the clip now. dress form and I did buy the necklaces that I've I'm, I'm wearing one actually it's um, dictionary paper let's see if you can get a closer look it's a bird in dictionary paper on dictionary paper inside a necklace and this one is an artist okay they are really pretty. I like those. The next thing I want to t tell you about was I worked on a Happy Meal project off camera because I was going back and forth to the sewing machine and I took Victor's Happy Meal. He sent me two packages full of stuff and I used as much of it as I possibly could in this project. And hi Victor, by the way. <laughs> um, and I created this piece and I still have a bunch left over enough to do another project or two so I am still going to be working on his happy mail packages and making more projects and I will do that on camera 
Um, this one I couldn't do on camera because it was just too difficult. But anyway, she's sitting behind me. This is um, Victoria. The only thing on her that he did not send is the muslin that I used to create the doll and the paint that I used. Everything else came in Victor's package. So she has, let's see, she has on pantaloons the front. <laughs> this is, there's a lot of layers here. This is the front of her pantaloons, and the back is another, they're doilies, and the back is a different doily, so they're connected to create her pantaloons, okay? The dress is the um, turquoise fabric he sent me, and if you've seen those videos, you'll know this trim he sent, so I attached that to the bottom. These pieces here, her arm shirt pieces, it's not a shirt. There wasn't enough fabric to create a top for her dress. So I pieced it together because there was like four pieces, separate pieces of this. So I sewed them together to just create arms and then I wrapped the rest around and I can't really show you because it's all covered. I wrapped the rest around the top of her body so it's just kind of wrapped around and stitched and then her arms are slid into these sleeves and attached to her body. Um, and then I put some more of the lace on the bottom of her sleeve and this came in Victor's mail all of this came in his mail um, here's a doily and there's a doily and there's a doily and there's a doily so there's layers of doilies for her apron the apron tie um, I think I think that's one of my pieces of ribbon. So that's another thing he didn't send. But um, I used this ribbon to make a tie, to tie on the apron. And the back is one of those lace pieces. If you saw the video, you'll know what I'm talking about. There's several, there's several lace pieces, and one of them had different layers and tiers, and this is it. I attach it to the back, and it just hangs there. It's just... <laughs> It's hard to describe because it's there's so much on her and the way she's put together. It's just, a, it's just she's cute, I think. This is another doily. Oh, not a doily. It's like a piece of a, an old dress or something of lace that he sent. So it's around her neck. Um, all these ribbons were in his package. And there's a whole slew more of them. So I need to use those. Um, they're just tied at her waist in little knots just for decoration. This is ribbon he sent and the little seven charm was in his um, package also. This is a pen that he sent and this is a piece of old bracelet or necklace or something that he sent and there's several more pieces and I just couldn't put them all on her. I, I was gonna hang them everywhere but I thought no she's got enough on her. Um, but that's what that is. The ribbon in her hair came in his package, and all the yarn that her hair is made out of is in his package. So, I used as much as I possibly could on her. So that's what I've created so far from Victor's Happy Mail, and um, there's more to be created, so one day I'll get to that and I'll work on that. But I thought I would share her with you. The other thing is my birthday celebration. If you are new to my channel, there is a video called birthday celebration, just a few videos back, several videos back, probably by now. Um, and I'll try to link it below so you can go watch it. But it's basically, um, my birthday is November 27th. And I've asked anyone who's interested who wants to be part of the celebration to create a four by six iCAD or index card and it doesn't have to be an index card, it just has to be 4x6. Um, if you don't have index cards that are 4x6, you can go cut paper, like cardstock or something, 4x6. It fits in a, stand, uh, a business size envelope, so it's easy to put in the envelope to mail. If you keep it light and flat, you don't have to pay a lot of postage, so it's inexpensive that way. If you want to embellish it and create a bigger card or more depth or whatever, and pay a little more postage, that's up to you. I'm not asking you to go all out for me for that. Um, I wouldn't mind if you did, but if you want to keep it simple and inexpensive, just keep it basic and flat and just, you know, I'm going to make a little um, book, birthday booklet out of it if anybody does this. 
and and when you send me the um, postcard or no the four by six card I'm going to take your name and put it in a drawing and the drawing I'm going to give away my a price for my birthday um, and I haven't revealed what that is yet because I don't know exactly what it's gonna be now I'm not gonna tell you right now because I don't even know it's just one of those things you just have to trust that you'll like it and <laughs> go for it but I want to create a little birthday book with um, all the cards you send me so hopefully some of you will do that um, 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 I've covered everything except there's a little shout out video going around for um, people who do videos and that you watch and so Shannon Green started it it's a tag she tagged anybody who wants to do it and then a few other people that I watch do it so I thought that I would do that and return the favor um, and then you basically just give the name or tell who you watch on a regular basis on YouTube well I thought that I watch sporadically there's there's a few that I watch um, I'm dedicated to watching I, I definitely watch them um, and then there's some that are sporadic that come and go and I, I go through and just watch but because I make videos now I don't get to watch as many as I used to I used to just watch videos and just suck it all in but um, making videos creating art as much as I do now and all the things other things I have to do in life don't let me watch videos as much as I'd like to so I have to be really selective and um, I try to watch as many as I can when I have the time or if I'm waiting on a video to upload or something I, I try to sneak in a video or at night if I can't go to sleep I'll try to sneak in a video but um, there are a few I, I decided to pick the top 10 people that I watch on a regular basis um, and if your name's not on here it doesn't mean I don't watch your video it just means that I um, only could pick 10 you know so and I will link in the description box below the channel just um, name so you can find these people um, most of the people I'm going to name have already been named so many times because that's how it all got started but of these people here these are the people that I definitely watch on a regular basis um, one of course is Shannon Green and she's the one who started this and I found Shannon a long time ago I don't know how maybe somebody mentioned her or something but I fell in love with her channel because she's so down to earth and real and she's funny and she does things different than most people do and that appealed to me and um, she has well she's moved but she had funky neighbors that I really loved hearing about Shannon if you're watching this the guy on the roof I miss him so we need to find a guy on the roof in your neighborhood where you are now but um, she does like nostril cam videos where she's in her car and she's going someplace and she's not holding the camera so she's safe but she's got it mounted somewhere and she's talking so it's kind of aimed where you can see kind of her nose and so she calls it the nostril cam she's just funny she's just hilarious and she does projects that are um, really creative and do-it-yourself type things and you know you can learn a lot from her channel so I'd go check her out and the next person I watch on a regular basis is Phoebe hey Phoebe um, Phoebe is one of the nicest kindest people I think I've ever met she's just got such a kind heart and a sweet spirit about her and she's very creative she does a wreck this journal video series where she's very creative in the wreck this journal um, she tries all kinds of challenges and new things and I just I just enjoy her company I like listening to her videos I like our chatting back and forth we become friends and so we chat back and forth when we post a video um, one or the other of us post and we just talk back and forth and she leaves comments and she's real interactive and I really like that so I just she lives too far away though we live too far away <laughs> so um, check out Phoebe the next one is Kathy who's cat hand on YouTube and I met Kathy I don't know a few months ago maybe she's comment on the video I did and we started chatting and we hit it off so we kind of became friends and um, I love her videos if you want to watch a person who can create art in a neat tidy fashion this is the one <laughs> she can do it I can't do it I sit here if I look at that paint too long it'll jump off on me and it'll be all over my hands but 
not Kathy. She's got neat hands when she creates most of the time. Sometimes she gets a little on her and she calls it messy, but I'm like, that ain't messy. <laughs> um, her, her pad that she works on is neat, and but her projects are really fun and happy and interesting and I love them. And she gives you little tips and um, stuff that she's learned along the way. So I like that. And uh, she's a, fruit, a coffee drinker too, so I call it frou frou coffee. But so we joke about our coffees and anyway. So I really think you should check Kathy's channel out, and I'll put her link below too. And the next person is Sigrid Soto, and her name is Secret now, Secret Soto on YouTube. It's easier for people to say, and that's what she goes by anyway. So hey, Secret, and um, she is. A night owl so if you are up late at night and you want to watch videos that she's posted you are in good company with her because she's up late 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 at night so half the time I'm going to bed she's just getting started and making her comments and I'm going to bed and I don't even see what she's done until in the morning but she does a lot of do-it-yourself um, stuff and she tries things she's very um, challenge oriented she'll jump right in there and just try anything and if she doesn't have what it is that she needs or um, you know needs something she doesn't have she can create it like she makes her own glue and things like well she makes her own gesso type stuff so she's got a video on that I think and um, she does all kinds of stuff with like nail polish and wire and just mixed media she's just very creative so and she's funny and she doesn't edit her videos so what you see is what you get and I, I love that about her the next person is Victor hi Victor and Victor is in the Ukraine and I'll put his channel link below he used to go by a name that I couldn't pronounce but he's changed it to Mr. Victor Crafter I think something like that but I'll put the link below but Victor is one one of the nicest guys I've ever met and he is has become a friend through YouTube. I've met so many nice people on YouTube. And he's so, so kind and so generous and very creative. And he doesn't get, have access to a lot of the things that we do here in the States. So he has to improvise a lot. So a lot of things he comes up with are things that he's created in his own mind. Um, just based on something he sees us do, he takes what he has and he makes something from what he has. And it's interesting and a lot of his videos have been in uh, Ukrainian you couldn't understand him but you got the concept you knew what he was talking about but lately recently I am I think we've kind of coerced him into speaking English more because he does speak English um, he's he does it very well in fact better than some of us <laughs> um, so but he's very talented and very creative and he's very supportive and he loves art he's very passionate about art and you can sense that when he works and when he talks to you. So um, I would check him out too because uh, he's one of my favorite channels to watch. Um, the next one I watch on a regular basis is Imperfect Impulses. And I think his name is Aaron. I'm not sure. I don't know him personally. He doesn't know who I am from Adam. Um, but he is a very creative person too. And he's funny and he's down to earth and he creates in the same area space where his wife creates I think and I never hear from her I don't know if she has a channel or not but he does all the talking and everything on his channel and he comes up with a lot of things that he creates that are very beautiful and interesting and I just enjoy his channel so you could check him out too and the next one and y'all are gonna think I'm crazy some of you might know who this person is but some of you might not I found her by accident. I don't know how I found her, but my first response to her was she's crazy and I don't know if I could take this all the time. It's too much on the opposite side of just normal for me because I like a little bit of variety, but I'm, I don't like extreme. Um, but Graveyard Girl, and if you know who she is, you know what I'm talking about. But I, I fell in love with her. She doesn't know me from Adam either. She has 4 million subscribers. This is how popular she is. And I know that it's mostly probably the younger generations, but I know she's got people that are my age, probably older, in their 30s and 40s also, that watch her channel. She's, she provides enough for all ages. She's not, she's very clean cut. I mean, as far as speech and everything, she um, talks about makeup. She does 
uh, these unique finds like antique mall or store she goes to where she, she loves odd stuff like old dolls and dolls without bodies and dolls without heads and things like that. <laughs> but it's quirky and it's funny and I like her for that. I like that she's so out there and so honest and she goes all out for Halloween and dresses up and she does outfits of the day and um, she does, does this thing really work and she takes products from As Seen on TV and she just demonstrates them and sees if they really do what they say and I mean you just you have to go see her to understand what I'm even talking about. She's just somebody that's very unique um, and I just enjoy her videos so I watch her. Um, the next person is Josie. Hi Josie. Josie Dieto. She's in Italy. I have a wide range of people that are just spread out everywhere that I watch. Um, Phoebe's in Canada. Um, so Josie is, I just found her a few months ago, I think through Secrets Channel, and, or maybe she found me through Secrets Channel, I'm not sure, but anyway, she started commenting on my videos, and then she started made, making videos, and I started watching, and oh, she does some of this beautiful stuff. She uses cans and creates leaves and flowers and things to create a mixed media canvas and beautiful beautiful stuff and she's willing to try just about anything art wise um clay paintings whatever but everything she's ever created and with these journals that she makes they're to die for they are just so beautiful um if i lived in italy i'd be her neighbor i swear i would and i'd go visit because she has this environment in her house it just seems so homey and uh, she talks about stories from italy and sicily i guess is where she is and um i don't know i just she just seems like the kind of person and Josie, you don't know all this i'm telling you now <laughs> i'd come hang out at your house all day every day <laughs> i'd be the stalking neighbor <laughs> you'd never get rid of me <laughs> um anyway she she's creates beautiful art so i think you should check her channel out too another one i watch on a regular basis is joggles and you know who joggles is um i forget the girl's name who runs it i forget her name but i've I've subscribed to her newsletter for years now because I was interested in her the way she writes her newsletter it's very interesting I don't have time to read them anymore I don't read them but at least I know when there's a sale or some new product or something but she takes products that she carries in her store and she um, creates things and shows you how they work so you um, can learn about how different things are supposed to be used I bought some frosted paper Tim Holtz frosted paper the other day at Tuesday morning that's $2.99 and I thought I have to have it because it's only $2.99 and his stuff is usually more expensive and I want to see how it works and I don't know I've never used it so I gotta go research it and I think I'll go check her out because she probably has told me or Tim has told Tim Holtz has probably told us too so anyway I check her I, I check out her channel whenever it comes out another one I watch on a regular basis is Susie Dennis and Susie Dennis is like I don't know um, she does all kinds of things with paint she does peel paint art and um, I don't know how to describe her art I just know that I love to watch her create and when she's doing it and fast forward she has like wind chimes playing in the background instead of music and stuff and I just it's very relaxing and her videos are not really long but they're still real informative and I just enjoy them so she doesn't know who I'm either so anyway those are the people the main top 10 people that I watch on a regular basis so I think that we are done with our video I don't I can't show you what I've been working on because the big canvas is too big it's downstairs already ready to be hung in the bathroom waiting to be hung the other canvas is in the kitchen laying on the table waiting to be hung um, the art journal page I did well I can show you that okay let me go get it this is was created in this was created in um, my gut art class. This is from my gut art class. And um, if you've seen the book that I sit next to me and fill with paint as I create, whenever I have extra paint, it's almost full. It only has like um, this page, this page, and this one here to put paint on. And I was going to start making journal pages once it was full, just sporadically whenever I was in the mood. Well, one of the artists we were exposed to for God Art was um, very, uh, his paintings look like advertisements or um, graffiti on a wall. And not the dis 
disgusting graffiti, the kind that actually looks like art um, and something of substance, you know. And um, so I looked over at this page as I was sitting there. I had taken some titan, um, titan buff and some quinacridone nickel azo gold that I had left over from the painting that I was working on, the copy painting, and I'd scrubbed it on this page. Um, it was just sitting there. And then I had... Oops, hold on. Well, that was a disaster. My camera just about fell. <laughs> um, the cord fell off the table. I've got it all rigged up here because I've got things all over the place from all the classwork I've been doing and I didn't clean up my studio before I started the video. So I had to hide over here in the corner where it was the most neat. Um, anyway, I had taken extra paint and I had put it on this page. Well, then I had extra black left over and I was working with the sponge brush and I took it and I just decided I'll just put it on the page. Well, instead of just smeared it on the page, I just drew a heart real quick on the page. Well, then when I was sitting there looking over my notes for the warm up that I hadn't done yet, I thought of, you know, graffiti and bebop and advertising and things like that. And I looked over this page and I thought, oh, this so reminds me of something I would try to do for his, for this warm up based on what I saw of his art. So I just picked it up and I just put some stencil on it. So it was really simple, really fast, but that's the page that came out of that. And this is the very first page in this book that I will call a journal page. It's done, I think. Um, I don't know what else we're going to do in here, but as we go along, pages will be created. So that's one of the things I've worked on. I think that's it. I think we're done. So I'm going to go. I've got classwork to do for today, for this week. Um, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. The birthday celebration. I really, really would want you guys to to participate in that. Um, just because I think it'll be special. I really would love to have some little art pieces from all you guys. And there is a deadline to mail it to be entered into the giveaway. But there's no deadline to mail it if you're late and you don't care if you're not in the, the giveaway and you just want to mail something like that's fine. Um, but mail it by November 30th, which is I think the last day of the month. Whatever the last day of November is, mail it postmark it by that day to be entered into the giveaway and even though my birthday's on the 27th we're going past it because the 27th also is Thanksgiving this year so I have to share my birthday with a holiday and um, <clears throat> I just would like to have some little art pieces from you guys so I hope you do them okay and that's it. I'm going to go, and I will see you guys again soon. I've missed you guys. I will be back to doing some videos where I do some talking, so that's coming up soon. It's just i got to get past my gut art class. Other classes that I take, I don't take a whole lot of classes because I really want what I do to be more just me and whatever I learn. And as I grow, stuff I see on YouTube or stuff I just come across, I will learn and not be taught so much. But I do take some classes, and the gut art... Um, it's the best one for me because there's no teaching involved. It's just me learning what I'm all about. But there is another class I want to take that I have actually taken. I just have to wait on the, I got to get some, um, some supplies to finish it. But the metamorphosis class that Donna Downey had, um, she put an online class. I really wanted to go to it in person, but it came and went and there's no way I could have gone in time. But, uh... I've never been to any of her classes, and I would like to go to one at some point. But anyway, um, I wanted to, I take the, I took the uh, she put one of the metamorphosis classes online. It's a smaller, shorter version. In person, you made a lot more stuff, but online, it's a journal book. And I've just about I've got everything I need to make that. So I'm going to be doing that, and I won't do that on camera because it's a class, you know, and I don't want to give away her information that she's selling. So. But I will share it with you when it's done. But I'm going to do that off camera. But in the meantime, I'll do my other videos too. So that's the only other thing that's coming up that's really um, going to take my time, I think. Other than holidays, stuff like that. And holidays, uh, their holidays are hard in general, but harder when you lose people. And So I don't know. I just want to get through this, this year and get started. I'm thinking about starting something. I don't know. I'm thinking about starting something in January. That's going to be a year-long project. I don't know if I have it in me to do a year-long project without stopping 
or without something getting in my way where I can't do it. But I'm thinking of, and it won't be like art journaling every day because I can't sustain that. There's too many days that go by that I don't get to do any art. Um, it's not a good time to be around me when that's happening because I, I need to do art on a regular basis to be as happy as I can possibly be. But when I have to not do art, um, it's not a good thing. But I was thinking maybe once a week, like an art journal a week, art journal page a week or something, and create a book that at the end of the year I'll have 365 pages. Now, not 365, 52. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that do that kind of thing, and you know you can take classes and stuff like that. That's not what that would be. This would just be more of a challenge for me, and if you all want to play along, you can. I'll be thinking about it. We've still, we've still got some time, so we'll see what happens. Okay, guys, I hope you have a great weekend, and uh, next week, I don't know what's going on next week. I still have gut art. I know that my husband's working from home all week long, so that means videos will be different if I did get to do a talk video, um, because he's going to be working, and Tuesday's a holiday, so I may just see you in my gut art videos next week with very little talk, so it might be a week or two before we actually get back to our normal. But in the meantime, uh, don't forget about the birthday celebration, and... Um, just be creative and be happy and um, if y'all are praying people anybody out there who prays give just send a little prayer up for those people that you think about at the moment and include me if you think about it because it's, it's been a little struggle off and on since dad passed away and I'm just trying to work through it but I really really miss him and um, it's like you know the main puzzle piece of my life other than my husband is missing and I don't have anybody to really go to to talk to about important things that I might have talked to him about it's like there is nobody I'm I'm it now I'm the last one in the line and I'm you know I'm he's gone I'm it's a big hole so anyway I will talk to you guys later it's been nice spending time with you thank you for visiting with me and I hope that y'all have a great weekend bye bye hey baby hey get some sun Say hello. Bailey, hey. Bailey. Hey. Bailey, you know I'm talking to you. Say hello. Say hi. Oh, there's Buster. There you go. Say hello, guys. Ignoring me. You know I got a camera faced at you. Hear the bird? Hear the bird? You want a snack later? Oh, I get your attention. Oh, I get your attention. Say hello. <laughs> See if I can get Buster to show you how he runs. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh, that wasn't much. Let's go. Run. Run. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Can't put him on. <laughs>